Yeah, I know the mining profits is uh, quite low now and it's very tough. Um, but if you are an ASIC miner fan uh, and you're using S9 or T9 for Bitcoin mining, um, there's a firmware upgrade uh, which can increase your miner speed. Um, so we are using it and uh, our S9 is hashing at 18.6 uh, terahash. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to Mining Hardware channel. This is me, good as usual. Um, so yeah, we, we are testing out the uh, all, some overclocking tool. Uh, so I, a few days ago, I received a message from a friend of mine that he said he's developed a tool to overclock the uh, uh, Unminers S9 and T9 and uh, to get, uh, get them more, just basically get them more efficiency from the miners, so use less power and uh, get a higher hash rates. Sorry, it's, it's quite probably noisy here because the, just the, uh, the S9 is just beside me. But anyways, um, I want to get through this and uh, uh, see the show you the results that I'm getting. I'm going quite amazed about this. You know, it's, it seems you know, especially in these hard times when the uh, S9 miner only uh, covers maybe uh, just the. Uh, just the power cost and you can actually increase the hash rate or you can reduce the power usage um, at, at, at the same hashing speed. So the S9s, when you receive them, uh, there's two different versions, 13, 13 and a half and 14 terahash miners. I think they're all the same. They use the same hardware but different overclocks. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so at the stock settings, 14 terahash miner, which we are using uh, for today's tests, is uh, using uh, 1,450, 1,480 watts of power and does uh, 14 terahash. And uh, we will see if we can do this more efficient. Um, the maximum we have reached uh, speed at the moment is um, is 18.6 terahash at 2,100 watts. But I will show you now because uh, we have connected different wakers. Uh, at these settings, the miner use quite a lot of power and the we have the original bitmain power supplies, which is only 1,600 watts. So you would need definitely to use uh, two power supplies. Otherwise, you would burn a power supply if you are trying to uh, overclock this miner to maximum. So I'll show you how to connect these. Um, you, you can see that you can see that uh, I have connected two power supplies. Uh, one power supply is powering the uh, two hashing boards and the other power supply is powering uh, one hashing board and the control board. So this is the main uh, main uh, power supply which will turn on your mining rig. Um, you can see uh, this miner is overclocked now and it's using 2,138 watts of power. Yeah, and I will show you how this looks like. So you basically what you do is uh, you just download the version of the firmware. I will leave the link description to Bitcoin Talk where you can uh, download this version. And uh, then you can basically um, click the upgrade tab and then upload the uh, uh, zip file, what you have downloaded. Just put it here and, and uh, uh, upload. Just before you do this, uh, do a backup. Uh, on your miner, so generate backup uh, just to be safe. You know, maybe if you have one miner, you don't have any other miners uh, from uh, which to pull out the backup file. Um, so, yeah, just to be, just in case, do uh, do a backup before you uh, upload this. And as soon as you upload, you will receive um, uh, like this uh, uh, overclocking tool. Uh, which will unlock these features, which is uh, not available for. So you can uh, uh, regulate the uh, um, uh, frequency and also the uh, voltages on the cores, um, on the chips. And this way uh, you can uh, check what's the best uh, to get the most optimal speed. Um, the highest, highest uh, hash rates I'm reaching at uh, 920 millivolts and uh, 843 uh, megahertz uh, frequency. 
and you can see that the miner is hashing uh, 18 tera hash uh, currently, and it's using 2,100 watts from the wall, which is not bad if, if, compared to the uh, stock a miner. What you receive is 14 tera hash. It's about extra 33% uh, speed uh, increase. So yeah, it's also the power increases, but like if you have cheap, very cheap power or you have no power costs, it makes sense to overclock this miner and get these speeds. Um, yeah, but just don't forget if you do this, use two, two power supplies or one, you know, but the one which is over uh, maybe somewhere, which is two and a half kilowatts, which is not, not 1,600 watts. So let's see, I will turn this off now and I, let's see uh, if we can switch on a one power supply and what kind of the, uh, specification, what kind of benchmarks we'll get um, closer to the same speed uh, as the Bitmain is selling to you. If, is there any uh, chance to uh, reduce the power on the same speed you get from the Bitmain? Um, right, so I have also tested the most optimal settings for uh, uh, one power supply on the S9 uh, usage and uh, I'm getting about 14 and a half terahash at the same power usage um, as I get from the uh, um, uh, from the like uh, when you receive an S9 at stock you get 14 terahash at uh, 14 uh, uh, 1400 1500 watts and I'm getting now 14 and a half terahash at the uh, 14 15 uh, watts uh, so that's a, a half a terahash increase um, it's not much but it's still better than uh, than the uh, than you receive the miner it's slightly better um, uh, and you can also you know if you have issues with cooling you can reduce the uh, frequencies lower and reduce the power more um, to uh, yeah to save the uh, the, the power and uh, not get the miners overheat um, so you can see it I have it uh, running on one power supply here, and it's using uh, power uh, 1,450 watts at the moment. So this was the test for the S9 with this firmware. I will have the links in the description to the Bitcoin Talk post where you can download uh, this firmware and upgrade your miners. But the funny thing is this also works on the T9 miner. So if you have a T9 miner, it's actually uh, doing a much more efficient. You could reach um, uh, 12 terahash at around uh, 1,200 watts, which is much more better because at the stock settings, when you receive the T9, it's hashing about 10 and a half terahash at uh, 13, 1400 watts of power. Uh, so this is much better results, and uh, you're getting much better ratio for uh, every terahash per watt. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for uh, uh, tuning in for this video. I hope you did enjoy. Um, uh, download the version if you're mining S with S9 or T9 and give it a go and leave in the comments if you have any issues or what results you get. Um, also, yeah, some of the chips on the miners is uh, uh, not the best quality. Sometimes uh, I was testing one different S9 miner and I couldn't overclock it too much. Uh, as it was uh, switching off uh, one uh, hashing board. But anyways, uh, uh, at the low ha lower hash rate, you could uh, do uh, some tweaks and reduce power if you can't reach a very high hash rate. Um, so, yeah, thanks again for watching this video. If you found a value, uh, share with your friends and uh, see you on the next video, guys. Bye. I would be very interested to uh, get the, these guys who develop this software on the live stream. Let's see if they, they will come out and uh, tell, tell us more about this firmware and uh, uh, what they have done and what's, they plan, what's their plan to do with this.